It was in the Royal Victoria Hospital that Naomi was introduced to Jackie Clancy from the Northern Ireland Children's Cancer Fund, an angel they believe sent to help them through their tough times. Whenever she comes out to the house and everything, you just forget what illness you have. You just have so much fun. Yeah, it was just really, really good. There was one time whenever we went up to Belfast and we went into the Odyssey, Odyssey Arena, and we went in to get hot chocolate waiting on mum to come over because she was doing her bus license for the NICFC. And we got in this big X Factor booth and we were singing a load of songs and she made a fool out of herself. And we've got a load of CDs off it. And she's just good fun. She just takes her mind off a lot of things. Danella states she could not have got through the past few years without the help of the Northern Ireland Cancer Fund for Children. Not only did they give emotional support to all the family and provide respite weekends for Naomi, the financial support they received was vital for the family as Danella had to leave her job to care for her sick daughter. We have financial assistance from the charity in um, road miles where every three months we got had a check um, which was the equivalent of 15 round trips to and from Belfast which was oh it was like we'd won the lotto when we got that because I mean we were um, it was 170 miles round trip each time we were up and down to Belfast and, and on one occasion we'd been up three times in 24 hours um, but usually um, it was twice or three times a week um, and when one of us was off work um, and you had one wage packet coming into the house um, them sorts of things were priceless you just couldn't put a price on them and um, we had the home heating scheme from the charity as well where um, we got 200 pounds towards um, the cost of the extra heating in the house while she was on our treatment we had Shimna Valley where we went up there for residentials for respite um, and we've all been up there. Naomi and I went first of all on our own um, because she'd had a rough couple of weeks and she was quite low in spirit. We both were and they suggested to us at the hospital that we go down to Narnia or to Shimna Valley for a couple of days, which we did. And since that then, the whole family, we've been down on a number of occasions and it's like a home from home. Nearly three years on, Naomi is fortunately in remission. After being off school for 18 months, she returned in April and had two solid months back in the classroom. Unlike the other kids, Naomi jokes she wishes the term had not ended. I was out full of P7, I was only in for two weeks, because then I started to get like the cold and I was really, really sick. But then in first year, I was in for like three half days, so I still got to meet new friends as well for being in sec secondary school. and. I still kept in contact with my old friends because some of them live around here in my hometown and it was it was kind of hard because whenever I was home with my tutor then I wanted to be in with my friends but I still got a day off and a lie in but sometimes that wasn't what I really wanted. I wanted to be like normal and get up early and run about. I've been in school full time for like two months now without any sickness so I'm really, really chuffed about that, but it's the summer, I want to stay in school, but at the same time, I've only got two weeks of summer because I'm away with every weekend, I'm away with NICFC. It can be a life-changing experience when any member of the family is faced with a life-threatening illness. Danella and Naomi, however, have turned this negative situation into a positive one. Together, they now aim to complete various courses to continue to work and help the Northern Ireland Cancer Fund for Children by supporting other families in similar positions. I think um, it's changed my life completely. I mean, um, looking back on how things were before Naomi got sick, I don't know how we ever <laughs> managed. So that, that sounds awful, but it really, um, I was working full time and part time. My husband was working 60 hours a week. And we were pretty much meeting each other in the door. He was coming home from work, I was going out. Um, we had little time, unless on holidays. But after Naomi got sick, things that we thought were important just aren't. Um, we prioritise now. We have so much more um, quality time together. Um, we do so much more together. Um, I've now retraining and going back to school. I'm studying with the Open University and hoping to complete a degree in social work so I can work with families that have sick children. 
Um, and you do, I mean, things like um, fancy cars and, and lots of money in the bank just aren't worth it when your child's um, got a life-threatening illness because it shouldn't, it shouldn't, if right was right, it shouldn't have to be that way. Um, it should be the parent and not the child being in that position. Danella continues to regularly fundraise for the NICFC. The next event she will be taking part in will see her scale the heights of Sleep Donard on Sunday the 28th of August. If you would like to join her, visit the NICFC website to register. You know he loves to dance and sing, cheer on the gesture. Yeah, man.